Chords to me are a, a building block of theory and a building block of uh, scales and keys and how you use these chords. But I like to go to the first, the basic thing about chords is one of the first chords you learn on the guitar is the G chord. And the first time you learn it, you learn it like this. That one. And that's the G. That has a third in it. Two thirds. Right there. Um, so in case you know what a third is, a third is the one. That's the third. One, two, three, G, A, G, A, B. So that's the chord. So, but then you learn how to play it without the thirds in it, which is the big G, the big nondescript G. That's the cool G. You know, the cool G. Then there's this G with the, uh, the third in the bass. And there's a key with the G7. There's a G7 sus. Then there's the uh, third position G. Then there's the G that's just, um, you know, without the strings. And then there's this, this G right here. Anyway, you can do a lot of stuff with a G chord. And picking the right G chord in the situation is a kind of a big deal. Then there's the G major 7, G major 6, 9, you know, G minor 11, you know. There's all these chords and knowing how to, where to put them and when to use them. They're like a tuba. One's like a wrench, you know, those like a screwdriver. And then one's like a hammer, you know. So they're all tools in your toolbox. So uh, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the C chord. And we're talking about the, the open G, you know, one, four, five of the guitar. <laughs> is sometimes what you learn first. So the C chord, this is the basic one here. That's a beautiful chord. You learn that and you learn how to like not get your fingers caught and make them all clear. And once you get past that point, you know, you kind of start thinking you're a guitar player. And then, uh, then there's this C. We have that one. Then there's the C that's just like a, a more C with an add two in there. Then there's C, the, the barred C right there. And all of them have their specific use, their tools. Okay, so that's a couple of C's. C major 7, C minor, C minor 7, I'm C minor 7, C minor. Okay, and uh, so just touching on all these things, uh, the four chords. And then there's the D. The D, the D chord, is the one you learn, first one out the book. Then all of a sudden you take your finger off there. Oh, that sounds good. Then you can put it back in. Yeah, then there's this one. Oh, shit, three could Yeah. And that's a whole little universe right there. Now. <laughs> Seven, yeah. <laughs> back to you. So, so then you got the G, which is a great chord for guitar because you got a nice open G string, D string right there. You can ring it all over the place. And then uh, now that's for the G. So that's, that's a G, C, and a G. One, four, five. All right. And then you start talking about you know cousins of the 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 uh, relatives of the one the one chord. It's cousin the sixth chord, which is the E minor. You know. Almost the same chord, but not quite, you know. Then there's the two. I'm sorry, the four, the four chord, which is the C. The cousin was the A minor. A minor, C, A minor. A minor, minor. A minor seven. Very different chords. You know. Subtly different. So that gets into like how you use your chords, how you use them in different situations. So basic chords I love a whole lot because. That is the foundation of the guitar and how you can look at it and start to play music very early on. Like all students I've had, when I've had students, um, private students, I've had probably two in my lifetime. I always start them out in the key of C. Then C. There, there. Then their first assignment is to go write a song with those three chords. And then you're in the game. So using what you know is a big deal with me. You use what you know. If you know three chords and that's all you know, you can do a whole lot with that.
So never, you have never to feel like, oh, I, I wish I knew more. We all wish we knew more. You know, even Tommy Emmanuel probably wish he knew, knows more. He knows about everything he has to do with the guitar that is. But if you know a lot about the guitar and you don't know what to do with it, it's like having a big toolbox and you can't even, you know, you can't build a, uh, whatever, a, with some kind of chair or something because you got all the tools but you don't know what to do with them, you know. But, and the guitar is the same way. So if you've got a few tools, you can do a lot and with the, with the uh, basic chords. So I love basic chords. I know a few of the fancy ones, but basically um, the, the simple ones, the, what do you call them, the cheap chords are the ones I like the best. <laughs>